Yo. Yo, guys. Guys, I gotta go. Hold on. I think someone's at my house. Yo, someone's in my house right now. It makes no sense. I'm looking at my security footage right now. Yeah. Hold up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I have to go. I'll be on later. Actually, stay in the backyard with the dogs. Do not come inside. Why? Don't come back. Just stay in the backyard with the dogs. Is Paul, still, is Paul still back there with you? Yeah. Just stay back there. Stay back there. Do not come inside, please. Where's the bag? Oh, get the bag, get the bag. Uh, dogs, they'll be alright, they'll be alright. Hold down the backyard, hold down the backyard. If anybody comes, kill them. Oh, oh. Let's go. 
Let's go over there, let's go over there, let's go over there. Hey, this way, this way, this way. This way. Oh, Looks like Millie got to him. <laughs> Looks like Millie got to, got to him. Oh my god. Millie. Where is she? Oh, they're right there. there she is. <laughs> Millie, you got the bad man? She's wagging her tail like she did something. She you're a good him. girl, <laughs> Millie. Oh my god, Millie, you're a good girl. Did you fight the mean man? You attacked the mean man? You're a good girl. Oh my god. Huh? Dude, you can feel my chest. My heart is feel it. Feel my chest right now. My heart is pounding. I was so scared that they would have got hurt, but I mean, I was kind of confident because Millie, well, <laughs> just is asking for someone to break in so she can kill somebody. But I was still, you know, being a dad. It's like it's scary. It's scary. But looks like Millie got to him. Good girl, Mill. Yeah, we gotta do some. Let's go check the inside actually, real quick. Come on, girl. Come on. There they go. You should, you should stay out here, actually. I don't think anybody's here, but let's just, I just want to be 100% sure. Anybody here, Mel? I think she went already went over. Yeah, she She's was, sitting down like, please. Yeah, was, no, I know. Alright. Dude, they, this man completely obliterated my door. Damn. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? That was the scariest thing I've ever freaking went through in my life. Bro, I'm sitting here playing my game. All yours. Boom! 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 Oh my god, give me that. Can you even fit this? No, I can. I just want to get a selfie. <laughs> Dude, I put my uh, fridge in front of it and everything, trying to hold them. That did not work very well. Take my Close this window. Dude, we got to do something with the, uh, with the clothing. That's on you. For sure. I'm going to figure something out right now. I guess that is a lesson to everybody watching this right now. Get yourself a nice little guard dog. Just do it. You gotta get a guard dog. They're they're worth it. They're useful. They love you with their entire heart and they will kill anybody that tries to hurt you. And you know, that's living proof. But right now I'm putting a sweatshirt on because we need to go do something with these clothes that I have in the back. It's obviously little girl clothing and this man is not very happy that I came across it, so. I'm gonna throw the new bangers merch on real quick because it's freezing outside and we're gonna go dispose of all this stuff or bring it somewhere that we can figure out some. But guys, if you go to the first link in the description, you can copy your very own limited edition merch. It's selling out very fast. There's four different types of sweatshirts, all different colors, and they're probably the nicest sweatshirts I have ever dropped in my life. So go to the first link and order now before it's sold out. But yeah, let's get out of here. Here we go again with a long journey. All the way back to the McGinley's residence. It kills me. I can't believe we're going here again. We made a left here. We got about 15 minute drive and we're there. Uh, you ready, princess? Let's go. For what we got here. Boom. We're out in front of Calvin's house right now. Calvin's house is probably a half a mile down that way. Probably even less, maybe a quarter of a mile down that way. And we're going to walk there. We're just going to park here, dude. Echo! Look at this. It's nothing but woods down. Look that way. Then look this way. I know I say this every time we come here, but it just blows my mind, bro. How it's literally just a road in the middle of nothingness. It's crazy. But anyways, I have a bag here. And what the camera doesn't know yet is I filled this bag with my old clothes because I'm sending as a decoy. There's no way I'm going to bring those clothes back to Calvin. There's no way. He came to my house looking for these clothes because they're children's clothes, his victim's clothes. He's trying to bury and hide the evidence. No way I'm letting that happen. So I'm gonna bring him what he thinks is those clothes, leave it on his doorstep, but there's a decoy because I have this chip here. It's a SIM card and I can track it on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this SIM card deep into the decoy of clothes, bring it to his house and see what he does with it. Because he's obviously hiding something. 
it's a very sketchy thing that we're doing and i know all, everybody in the comments like jack why are you coming back there but yo duffy gang for life just kidding it's actually more than it's more than just me and you and and a video it's this is real life at this point so i just want to get this back there and uh see if we can figure something out with this maybe i'm gonna go home and try to use the real clothing to go on the internet and see if I can find any missing persons. That's the plan. So I'm giving him this fake stuff to, so he can leave us alone for now. This is the trail entrance right now. Right here. I really hope that the McGinleys are not home right now. The last thing I want to do is run into them. Don't think he's home. My dog just destroyed his butt cheek probably, so he might not be here. Hopefully not. Are you scared or something? Huh? Are you scared or something? Your hair is spiking up. Anybody here? Yo, Paul, be ready to run, bro. I heard another gunshot. It's scary. It's far into the woods, but it's scary. I don't think anybody else is in this woods besides this family, so they might be all out hunting right now. There's no one in here? All right. We're gonna leave that bag there. It's got the tracker in it. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. The thing about this house right here, it's his quote unquote workshop. They don't actually live here. What they do is I guess they go out hunting, whether it be deer or human or whatever they're doing, whatever they feel like eating that night. And they bring it back to this house here. When we met him face to face for the first time, that's what he told us. So I don't think they actually live there, but they're hunting now, which means they're going to be going to that workshop very soon. So actually couldn't be any more perfect timing that we just dropped this off. Uh, all right, let's get the heck out of here. It's time to go home. Oh, chill. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. We're messing around in the middle of the woods. There's serial killers about to chase us down. Let's get the heck out of here. We're bugging. <laughs>